this Sunday as we celebrate Easter, I can almost guarantee you that when I walk in the doors on Sunday morning, someone will come up to me and greet me with the following words, He is risen, and they're going to expect me to say, He is risen indeed. Again, what an important part of our church history to celebrate and say these words, not only in our worship, but to one another. But the danger is, is that we say those words not really realizing their impact on our lives. You see, they are powerful. They are a powerful reminder that we don't need to say just on Easter morning, but in fact, all year round. In Romans 4, verse 25, Paul says this, Jesus, our Lord, who was delivered up for our trespasses and raised for our justification. You see, when we think about Easter and we celebrate it, this is what we're celebrating. We recognize that Jesus, in his death, bore the penalty for our sins. Earlier in Romans chapter 3, Paul lays it out that uh, Jesus took the wrath of God on our place. Verse 25 of chapter 3 says, Whom God put forward as a propitiation by his blood. You see, Jesus bore the righteous wrath of God for our sake. He took the penalty for our sins on himself so that we would no longer have to bear that penalty. And that's why Paul says he was delivered up for our trespasses. He bore the legal penalty for our guilt. But he also goes on, and that's the good news, because if Jesus had simply died, that would have been, in many ways, a meaningless death. But we recognize as we celebrate on Easter that he was raised again from the dead. And Paul says he was raised for our justification. See, the truth is, in Jesus being raised from the dead, the Father vindicated Jesus, nullifying his sentence of death and declared him to be righteous. Now, why does this matter? Because Jesus, as he died, he died without sin. He lived that perfectly sinless life. And even though he was without sin, he bore the penalty of our sin. Now you see, the beautiful part of our justification is that we are declared as righteous because of the finished work of Jesus Christ. It's not that we do not sin or have not sinned, but by faith we get to receive Christ's perfect righteousness. And in his resurrection, the resurrection that we celebrate on Easter, we're reminded that it was really true. Jesus not only has risen, but he also lived the sinless life. You see, the good news of the gospel is that Jesus not only bore the penalty for our sin when he died, but in his resurrection, we have been justified because his righteousness, his perfect righteousness, his perfect obedience and fulfillment of all of God's law has been fulfilled. And we receive that righteousness through faith in Jesus Christ. So as you move forward this year, I want to encourage you to not just simply say or celebrate He is risen just at Easter. Make it a normal pattern of your life so you can be reminded of the good news of the gospel. Tell yourself when you wake up in the morning, He is risen. And you can even talk to yourself and say it back to yourself, He is risen indeed. Say it time and time again as you're reminded that the gospel is true. You've been redeemed. You are loved. You're a child of God. That's really good news. I'm Bob Warner, and I'd like you to think about that.